Hi, my name is Henry Harbison, and this is my Physics 2211 Lab 2 Motion of a Falling Object Lab. The purpose of this lab is to measure an object's motion after it is dropped from rest at some height. At the end of the lab, I will compare my observed data with two computational models. The computational models that, took, that I took into account were both gravity and drag, was more similar to my observed results than the computational model that only took gravity into account. One principle we use is Newton's second law, which states that the acceleration of an object is dependent on the net force acting upon the object and the mass of the object. Newton's second law also includes the momentum principle, which can be used to derive the velocity and position update formulas. We use Newton's second law here because we need to find the net force acting upon an object by summing its forces from interactions with other objects. Later from the experiment, we will also see that the object is affected by a non-zero acceleration which relates to the momentum principle. Another principle we use is the formula for gravitational force. Since our object is falling towards the ground, we know it's affected by gravity. Finally, we also use the formula for drag force, which is an opposing force to the gravity which results when the solid object interacts with the fluid air, the greater the surface area of the object, the greater the drag force. For my video, my object is a golf ball and the surroundings are the earth and its air. I position my coordinate plane with the positive y-axis going up and the positive y-axis going right, so my object moved along the negative y-axis. I use my ruler as the scale calibration. My initial conditions are shown here as you can see, the y-graph is exponentially moving into the negative direction due to the acceleration of gravity on the object. For the computational model that only took into account the force of gravity, I plugged in the initial conditions I mentioned in the previous slide and had the proportionality constant set to zero. The net force will be the only force of gravity, as you can see in line 70. Then using the velocity update formula, I calculated the ball's final velocity and used that to calculate the ball's final position in the position update formula. For the computational model that took into account the force of gravity and drag, I have almost the same code as the previous slide, while some changes are the proportionality constant, which I found by trying different numbers until the endpoint of the model was about the same as my observed data. Also, I have the formula for a drag force here, which is combined with the force of gravity to find net force. Here is the data from the two computational models in the observed data on one graph. Notice how the computational model that included drag more closely models what we see in the real world. However, the middle graph does have some discrepancy. This could be because of human error when positioning the center of the ball in the tracker as the ball was blurry during some frames. Also notice how the gravity only model displays the object at a much further position compared to the models that included the drag force at the same time points. Remember that this is because drag is opposing gravity, so the object's net force in real life going downwards is smaller and it is falling at a slower rate so it does not move as far in the same amount of time. For our what does it mean question, we can see that the model that considers gravity and drag will reach a terminal velocity. This is because it looks like towards the end, the velocity becomes constant, which indicates zero acceleration and zero net force. Remember that we have zero net force here because the force of gravity and drag are equal to each other. So to conclude in this lab, we use Newton's second law, the gravitational force, and the drag force to model the motion of an object that we recorded and analyzed, vertical motion of a golf ball in tracker, and compared data to the glue script computational model. And we noticed that in the real world, drag is present along with gravity. Thank you for watching.